Oh my god, there's so much porn. <laughs> if anyone Venmo's me during this set, you'll know. They'll know. Venmo, S C I X X Y, Skixie. So, this is an improvised poem using the word poem fairly loosely. Um, it doesn't rhyme. I can do rhyme poetry, but it's much, much shorter because I ran out of energy very fast. So I'm going to get some words from the audience. Um, and I'm going to ask for first a noun from this side of the room. Uh, house. House. All right, I'll take it. An adjective from this side of the room? Green. Green. House green. We're not challenging me, folks, because I got like Diplodocus the other night. Gelatinous. <laughs> mm. House green gelatinous. I feel like it's a Mormon poem. <laughs> and a verb from the back row. Fucking. Fucking. Less Mormon. <laughs> They've got their loopholes, don't they? <laughs> All right. All right. You guys are going easy on me tonight. It's okay. Uh, I, I, I would like to say that um, even though it's three days past the sell by date, I am still gay. <laughs> I was once at a meeting at the VA, where I, I used to work, and we had a meeting of um, events coordinators, and we were talking about Pride events, and this lady stepped up, interrupted the meeting, and said, you know what? We need to do an event for patriots. We don't do anything for patriots. And God bless the moderator, he said, yes, we'll take that under advisement and not Patriots Day, Independence Day, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, fuck you, lady. Also, don't you think there's some gay patriots out there? Piss me the fuck off. How did I get on that topic? Oh, house, green, gelatinous fucking. Maybe it's a Monsters, Inc. story? <laughs> House? <laughs> Gelatinous fucking. I'm, 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 I'm kind of filling time as my brain makes the connections. The, these are fairly easy words, but I try not to go for the obvious links. I, I, I try to make something a bit challenging for myself. It's more fun for me that way. House. Green. A few different directions to go there. Gelatinous. I'm getting there. Fucking. All right. Now, I mentioned I'm a writer. If you look at Skixmatics Online, or Scott Maddox, which is my given name, not everyone knows that, um, I have some books for sale. Um, and one of them is called Eastern White Pine. Um, and none of you have read it, so if I reference it in this poem, you won't know. But strangely enough, these words link directly to some of the themes of that book. House, green, gelatinous, fucking. I feel like that links to uh, uh, Chuck Fury's story, too, I think. I bet that house had some green gelatinous fucking in it. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. I appreciate you, by the way, taking me at the word that I'm gay despite how I'm dressed today. I know cargo shorts are kind of uh, black socks. I kind of glimpsed at myself in the mirror. like someone I shouldn't be out to. (laughs) (laughs) 
within my mind there is a structure a house built of walls and floors and ceilings and roofs made of ideas made of meanings made of things generated from within this house does not appear in the outside world. I do not observe it, but I create it by existing within it. This house is not like your house. This house is not like my house. This house grows and changes and alters whether you look at it or not. It is like a green growing thing with branches and roots. Maybe less like a tree. Maybe less like a plant, more like a fungus with these strange gelatinous tendrils that run under the ground, connecting it to other houses, other life other mysteries, connected in mysterious ways that science is only now starting to begin the process of understanding. This house, this formation of my soul is connected deeply with every other house and signals cross that barrier through the mycelium, through the threads underground, deep within the rotting wood, to other houses, your houses, which are also growing and changing, whether you know it or not. Sometimes the best growth and the best change happens when you're not looking. thing you need to know about a fungus, which is not what my house is, but what my house is most similar to. The thing you need to know about a fungus is the root system, that mycelium, that's the actual organism. That's the real organism, the invisible network, that is the fungus, that is the living thing. What you see pop up, the mushroom, that's just what happens when the fungus is in the mood for fucking. <laughs> that's the reproductive organ. And it's kind of an ironic joke of the universe that some of them look like reproductive organs. But that's what happens when two souls meet and intertwine and cross signals and send spores. I'm not talking about having sex with one another. I'm talking about this creation that happens simply by interfacing with another. And the worst thing you can do for your house is to wall it off, to cut off the edges of those tendrils, to cease the growth, to cease the change, and then your fungal life does that other thing that fungus does, and it rots.